All right, YouTube, today we're gonna to play a little bit of Blue Black Midrange. Oh, the die roll, sweet. Um, I think I can keep this because I have Search for Escanta. Kind of bails me out here. I have one shot at blue mana, but Field of Ruin can fix my mana a little bit. <clears throat> I don't really think I, I... I think I don't like... I, well, I know. I know I don't like mulliganing. Um, I don't like... Uh, mulliganing mid-range decks because you don't know what you're playing against. Barracks. I don't think that Barracks card's very good. I, I tried that out in the mono red deck because I wasn't super happy with the Kindling Phoenix. And like, it's basically a vanilla 4 4 because the odds of you kicking that are not very high. We'll turn off auto yields. against vampires <coughs> would have liked to see a glint sleep sight off the top there to use my uh, to use my energy off to draw a card actually get up but scrappy I don't think we can afford to draw lands. That's okay. Yeah, I tried that card, but I just didn't didn't do enough. So we're definitely field of ruining this black source. Because they might not play a basic swamp. If they like the mono white aggro deck, I doubt they play a basic swamp. And this may, might make it so they can't return the scrappy boy. And I don't even think Rekindling Phoenix is as good as it was. History of Benalia. This card's good. This card's very good. Doesn't look great on the surface, but I think it's very good. They do have a swamp, okay. I should have done that at the end step. Uh, we'll put that in the graveyard, yes. Um, should have did this out of sequence here. Draw a card. All right, moment of craving's good. So I'm probably gonna just chump. I might chump block this moment of craving this because if I do that, my Ascanta turns on, and I'm gonna need some kind of advantage here to beat this deck going long. Because now the Iskanta flips, and we have another blue mana. We're like kind of doing something. Yes. Yes. Play one more of these. I don't know, definitely. I think I'm just going to push this token. Just not take four, save myself four damage. Look to counterspell a creature. This content, like, kind of mini fogs one of these scrap heap scroungers for a turn. We need, like, a scare of God. Yeah, I mean, we're pretty much just countering anything here. I think I gotta use my mana. Yes. No. Ask and you shall receive. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to flash back Dust Legion Zealot in our main phase. Unless they drew a cast. Don't tell me they have a cast. That's right. That's what she's into. Alright, that's pretty scary. That's so bad. 
Oh, my opponent didn't attack. So let's think here. I want to go first in, last out. So let's see what's going on with the search. Blint Sleeve Siphoner. So if I go, I think we're putting Siphoner into the graveyard. And then, no. So, I don't think we're doing anything. I think we're just, Veraska's contempting this, eating one of these, taking three, taking six. Yeah, so we're just, we're just gonna pass here. No, um, when you stream enough, when you stream enough, oh, that was a really good draw. Oh, I don't have another, I only have one black, two black sources. When you stream enough, you get to be on a part of their network, and then their network, um, how do I say this? With their network, you get to use cards. You get to use a certain amount of cards from them, a certain dollar amount. And you have to just fill like the credentials that they have. We're definitely dead to like a lot of cards here. Like they, they could have the pride card or whatever it is. It's probably a pretty bad matchup in game one. Well, that's not what it is, Spirit Chiller. That's you're talking about mana traders or MTGO traders or some other ones. The card of our network, you don't pay for it. So I think that probably kills me. Let's take three. Yeah. Needed another black source of mana. Okay. So against this deck, I probably want... I might want Gifted Aetherborn to gain life. And I know I want Golden Demise. Cards that I'm not super excited about. I'm not really pumped about Fatal Push. Um, not super pumped about Moment of Craving. Or this one here. I wonder if that means that I want... Because, like, this card doesn't seem that... Commit Memory doesn't seem super great in this matchup. I wonder if I want a card like Argos Bloodfast. But I don't know if, like, I have enough time to be doing that. Because they're an aggro deck. So maybe I just want more removal. Moment of Craving seems better than Fatal Play. Just because I gain life. Not super sure. Mono Green did not go very well. Yeah, I, I think that the deck list... I don't think the deck list was very good. I think it was like insane against like red decks, but it felt like there were a lot of holes in the sideboard. I made some mistakes, but it felt like there was a lot of holes that the deck wasn't wasn't fixing. All right, I would like to play first. I'm mulligan this, we only have one land. Uh, keep this, and hopefully this Champion Wits takes us to the Promised Land. I think we're going to put that on top, because that's another card. So putting it on the bottom is basically the same thing as keeping it on top. Because with how... Unless they kill it. Always yield. Just look on the 5 0. The 5 0 list, it's right there. Do you know how to internet? All right, sweet. Land. All right, not quite on time, but at least we can syncopate something.
Man, whenever you get to work this siphoner, this deck feels these decks feel so good whenever you can just sit here and hide behind a siphoner. I think I'm just gonna do this because I'm, I'm definitely just gonna champion Wits next turn. I would like to have counted a history of Benalia there, but definitely attacking. Probably ditching this Gear Hulk, I had to assume. I could ditch Champion of Wit. I could ditch Torrential Gear Hulk and Champion of Wits. That doesn't leave me anything to do next turn. Besides search for this content, that's probably fine. I kind of want to hit my land drops. Oh, we're going to scare guard, excuse me. That was turn four. I only saw three lands, so I thought it was turn three. So Rams expertise into, okay. Yes. So that gets rid of my guys. I don't super like that. I think we're just gonna slam the scare of God here. The problem is this could get out of hand. But this doesn't really answer this Benelish Marshall, Marshall, which is like the card that's the real problem. But if they play another Anthem, then this is all useless. It's kind of a little bit of a crossroads of the game. I don't think I can golden demise away both of these creatures. And then I can like champion in my upkeep. Mm -hmm. It's another SRAM. So now we definitely have to SRAM's expertise probably. Yeah. We did get another card out of it, which is good. Get some free damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. That's 10 permits, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, so I messed up. I, messed, I just missed on 5 damage. I almost I almost missed on more than that, but that was almost real bad. Yeah, I, I figured it out. It took me a second. I almost tossed it. I almost just wiped away my own guys. And this is, again, like... I'm very much training wheels with standard because I just don't I don't know the play patterns. That was almost bad. I wonder if I want to play a card like negate or duress on the draw to help me catch up. Play like shit, get rewarded.
Like, I kind of want to lean out. I don't think Gonti is really what this matchup's looking to do. I kind of just want to get a little... I want more ways to kill that Benalia dude. Not the Benalia dude, the uh, Anthem. Yeah, let's try this. I think I've got a mulligan. Like, I'd like to cycle this. Do I have two removal spells? But removals, like, on its own isn't super great against our opponent. I just don't have anything going on. All right, at least I've got a champion. And then we got a siphoner. I think I'm going to lead off on this. I doubt I'm going to want to cycle it. Though, I guess it just made sense to play my play the swamp because I'm going to be tapping out. This was This was stupid. Yeah, this is all just stupid. Because I'm going to be tapping out for the next couple turns. That's a really good draw. Yeah, I should definitely play Swamp. So that it gives me the option to push this. Which is going to save me probably like 3 life. Yeah, so like now it's going to be tough. I guess I can still play Champion next turn. So let's draw a card. Okay, so now I can actually just go in here. And pass. Yeah, I thought I would have time to sneak my tap land into play, but turns out that was not the case. I'm gonna push this scrap each scrounger. And then, like, hold this off. Though I could just, like, not do that. And I'm not going to save myself the damage here. Sram's Expertise. Into Servo Excavation. Okay. So now I think I just have to save myself life. I'm not going to draw another card off this thing for a while. So I'm just going to push push this. There's no creatures in the graveyard. So do I want to go... Champion... Or do I want to attack with Siphoner? Because this Siphoner is going to trade with this or two of these. Which I don't mind if it trades with two of these. The problem is if I get aggressive and attack, I could just like get smoked. I think I want to play Champion. Because I'm looking for like a Golden Demise. Maybe a Walking Ballista. Though I could just draw a card. I could go like double spell and draw a card next turn. If I attack with this. This block's here. My opponent's only got two cards. I could chef at dunes me. So then I would go probably block, block. These, these knights are going to get huge. Yeah, I think I've got to find an answer quick. So let's go like this. I think we're just championing. use like both of these both of these and the fatal push to trade with these two big knights and then 
have this eat one of these. So that's kind of a blowout. Oh no, I should have done this one. God damn it. So now both my creatures die here. I guess it wouldn't, I mean, I would have died if I'd done it the other way, but I didn't sit there and think about it. So now we need a golden demise. Pretty bad. What does that do? Puts me to eight, gives me another turn theoretically. So we'll pass. If you have a land, they have to activate Chef at Doom to die. This seems like a rough matchup if I don't find Golden Demise. So what does that do? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kills me on the dot. If I do this, it's three. Yeah. So that seems like kind of a rough matchup. That seems like Golden Demise or Bust. Though it's going to be, I don't know if that deck is, I don't know how much I should worry about that deck, you know, because like that deck's just going to get wrecked by the chain gang. If I would have pushed on turn one, I'd have three more life. If I'd have pushed on turn one, I probably, I probably would have been, I would have been in much better shape. I'm not sure I would have been out of the woods, but. It was definitely a mistake to not push on turn one. How's the, uh, how's the chat stay going today? It seems like Grant's having a good day. I don't know how good it could be, actually. He's hanging out here. You never know. I'm going to draw. If I can get to this champion, I'm in good shape, so I think I'm going to keep it. I feel like champion of wits gives you a lot of... Oh, okay. Bonac career. That was almost bad. I got some serious motor lag. So I'm just gonna kill, I'm gonna kill this. Well, now, I still think I'm gonna kill this. Like, this Bowmat Courier going long is gonna be really bad for me. And this game's, like, if, if I have this game my way, this game is going to go long. All right, I'm going to do this because we're potentially light on lands. They made me last turn. I was not I was supposed to push this one because I don't plan on blocking on this turn. Hopefully, we don't get chain ganged. If we get chain ganged, I'm going to be really sad. No, nope, just shocked. All right. Okay, we hit a land. So we gotta make sure before combat we kill this. Though if my opponent just goes land hazard, we are dead as a doorknob. Land. Hazard. It's, it's not good. They have the they have like the Yu-Gi-Oh card version. No land either. No land or Vraz is content, so we'd need two draws in order to get out from under this. But we just got mono redded. Like, it'll happen. Hazard the pervert, yeah. Okay, so we want the Etherborn. We 
The Golden Demise, probably. No, it depends on how many bad cards that come out. Dusky Boy is good. Um, the Search for His Contas are probably too slow. This Moment of Craving is good. I hate how these line up here. Dusky, Dusky Legion Zealot might not be super great anymore. I don't know. These seem clunky, but they're an answer to Hazret. Let me see how Matt felt with this sideboard of this deck. I only have a minute, 30 seconds left. There's definitely a chance that Gear Hulk's too slow. Brings in two Doomfalls. And uh, one champion. So. I guess he cuts Champion of Wits, he says. For all of these cards. These come out. That's interesting. I guess Doomfall hits. Doomfall kills whatever the card is. Hazard. Alright, we'll give this a whirl. Gear Hulk, I dropped one Scarab God. Okay, I didn't think about that. I didn't really think about much. I was like scurrying through Twitter. Alright, we will keep this hand. We got a Gifted Etherborn and a Counterspell. What more could you want? I wonder if this actually is a keep. Commit can deal with Hazret, which is nice. It's nice that uh, we're not playing into this, this uh, whatever it is here, this shock. <coughs> okay. So we're probably going to cycle one of these fetid pools. I mean, I'd be willing to bet we're going to have to essence scatter something. Cycle that. Okay. Could have played the hub, but I think I'm gonna cycle. I think I'm gonna look to counter something and cycle this hub. Cycle this fetid pools, excuse me. Chain gang. That chain gang out of here. Bowman Courier. I think it's worth it more to cycle this fetid pools and kill this Bowman Courier right now. Okay. Oh, that's actually really good. Because now. Now I go like this, and the Ballista will give me a Revolt, so that if they go to crew the Harvester, I can uh, kill the Harvester. Like I can go, if they go to crew the Harvester, I'll just go pop, shoot, and then we draw a card. That was a, that was a really good set of draws. Oh, interesting. 
very ambitious when you're playing the chain gang. Oh, chain gang's so bad. Oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't think about the chain. I mean, I thought about the chain gang right after it happened. Gets rid of my siphoner. We need one more land for that. At least we can deal with like a hazard or something. I guess we just get rid of this. And then if we hit a land, we can play Gear Hulk. So land. Okay, that's not bad. I think I'm gonna take three because I would rather hit like a Rekindling Phoenix or a Hazret with this. And I'll just deal with this if it uh, if I have to. Maybe I shouldn't have done that because the incidental damage from the chain gang land. Next best option. That looks gonna suck because this is gonna get glory bringered. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna win this game. Cause he draws glory bringer, exerts on this. First strike kills my. So I can take seven and go to six. And then get back gifted etherborn. I think I've gotta just let this happen. Like, I don't think I'm winning by getting rid of, by, like, playing behind. Like, if I have to recast a Scarab, I don't think I'm winning. So I think my line here is, like, Scarab God into, um, or get, get this Gifted Aetherborn working. And we're just going to let, we're going to take a draw step first so that we can hopefully hit a land for our Hulk. Champion wins. I don't think we can cast the champion. Do I attack? No. God, another glory bringer. That's so ruthless. I wonder if I was supposed to do something differently there. I guess attacking would have been right to do. So get this back. And now if I draw a land, I've got a chance, but I have to attack with this Aetherborn. So I've always got land shock. So I need to gain life. Nope, put it on the bottom. Land. Okay, that kind of does it. That doesn't really... So I gotta kill one of these before combat. A chump block this this uh, chain whirler. He might exert on this. If he exerts on this, then I really need to draw a land. 
You probably just got to exert here. Yep, smokes that. If I go to four, Kindling Phoenix. Land. That's not good. There's Miss Land number six. So actually, if he attacks with So I'm actually going to attack with my Scarab God. I'm just gonna try to get him to make a mistake here. I'm gonna attack with Scarab God. If my opponent um, attacks with the Goblin Chain Whirler as well, I can chump block it with the Champion of Wits, and then I can turn Revolt on to kill this Phoenix. I think like I'm still in a lot of trouble, but we're at least still playing Magic. So attack with the Chain Whirler. I should have left up one and one here. Oh, that does it because now I need two removal spells. Yep. And that even had it. Even if I loot, left up blue mana, I was still dead. Man, we are getting worked today. We are just getting worked, ladies and gentlemen. I'm having fun. I mean, I like. I, I thought all my, I thought all my model red games were interesting, and I think that both of these games have been interesting. But it just has not broken our way. I'm gonna grab some water. I'll be back. This deck's, this deck's like best tool against um, against Mono Red used to be like Dusk Legion Zealot. And if Mono Red is like attacking with Chain Whirler, then I don't know how good this matchup, this deck's Mono Red matchup is anymore. Because like every early creature just gets wiped off the board by Chain, by chain Whirler. Peter. My bottom molding too sweet. No. What is going on? That is so frustrating. I keep forgetting to restart Modo. Like I've got to, it's just too slow. All right, so let's get this Dusk Legion Zealot down. My opponent wants to shoot it with the Walking Blister they can. Always yield. Okay, Scarab God's good draw. I wonder if this is green black with field ruin. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's.
it's like that mono, it's like a ramp neck. So I think I'm gonna play out this glint. Well, no, I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna hold up a counter spell. I thought about playing the glint sleeve siphoner because if my opponent wants to take their whole turn, but they can just shoot the siphoner, which I didn't think about. If they wanted to take their whole turn to like put a counter on this and then shoot it, I was gonna be all right with that. But decided against it. One, two, three, four, five. So what am I worried about next? I'm worried about like an hour of promise. Okay, so just shoot it. Okay, I'm just gonna get this down. Force spike, whatever they do, then slam the scarab guy. Though maybe it's better to slam the Scare of God with like Syncopate up, but they have so much mana that it's just not going to matter. Yeah, they're already playing around Syncopate. Which like good on them, you know? It's a good thing to do. Does this work? Can they put the tokens into play? No, they don't get the zombies. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna put that in the graveyard. I think the only creature they have that's gonna matter is like Carnage Tyrant. I'm gonna upkeep Dusk Legion Zealot because I wanna find a way to kill this. Or they could scavenger grounds in a way. What did they just oh they drew a card. No, I think I'm going to take that fatal push. Oh, I stacked this terribly. Because now then I can play Siphoner next turn, clear the way, crack my opponent for five here. Life goes on. You gave four life. So they're just, they're just mono life gain. They're drawing two cards a turn, but that's that's mana intensive. Yeah, that's what I meant. Like, I want to, I, I just put it in there in the wrong order. They're drawing two cards a turn, but it takes basically their whole turn. So we want to put first in, last out. So we want first to go, first to go in the Scare of God. Always yield. Yeah, we're gonna put that in the graveyard, but I'm just gonna cast my own.
Hitting a land there would have been nice. And scavenger grounds. Wow, he didn't scavenger grounds. I guess he might maybe he wants to just dead land something. I don't know. So I wonder how I want to stack this now. I probably want to draw a card with Siphoner first. Then go the Escanta trigger and then have the Scarecrow trigger go last. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like my opponent must have better, like, are they worried about mono red that bad? I have no idea, like, what my opponent's doing. Like, your deck's doing its thing, but I'm not losing. Okay, so I want to do first in, last out. So I want to do Scare of God, Search, Siphoner. I don't know about the horse. All right, we're just going to hit some land drops here. I'm just going to play out another one of these. Another Siphoner. We can deal with a creature that's not Carnage Tyrant, but I don't even think Carnage Tyrant does enough on this board. We can Syncopate for three. Drawn a card. Opponents taking their time. I think I'm going to scare of God the Glinsley Siphoner back at the end of their turn to make it so like they would need a bunch. I guess I don't really know. Like, like they've got, I'll have two four fours, and if they scavenger grounds, they tap out, and then they also die. Chapel. I can play around Fumigate. Lich's Mastery. We're going to counter this for sure. Can't lose the game. Whenever you gain life, draw a card. Alright, that makes sense what they're doing. I 
Okay, so against this deck, I think we want negate, negate, duress, argles. I think we want the doomfall, and then the dispossesses maybe. Cards that don't seem that great. The moment of craving seems pretty awful. The ballista seems pretty awful. The syncopate seems kind of bad. It's good in the early game, but that's kind of it. The fatal pushes don't seem very good either. So if I can cut one card, I can get all these in. I probably name like Hour of Promise with Dispossess. Probably cut one Contempt. Let's see what this looks like. Let's see. So we just got our Argles. Essence Scatter might not be great, but he might sideboard into some creatures. Look, I can see this deck easily sideboarding into that creature that has Kicker that makes eight zombies. Maybe, I, maybe, okay, check this out. So maybe Golden Demise is better because Golden Demise can clean up zombies. Oh, Dispossess only hits artifacts. Lost Legacy is the one that it's good against. So we don't want that. You're right. I get him confused because isn't Lost Legacy in standard also? So the Syncopate. I'm going to keep him one Essence Scatter. They easily could board into that dumb card that makes. Um, that you kick for like 11 and makes 8 zombies. Because they have the mana for it. And it's just different than. Um, it just does different things than uh, Carnage Tyrant. Is there anything else that I'd want more? Is Vra Jace's is Essence Scatter better than Vraska's Contempt? Probably. Because it could board into like Gaunties and stuff. So let's try this. Unless the chat has any major objections. I think this is what we're going to go with. I got a mulligan. There's no early disruption or like. Oh, we got double negate. Yeah, we're gonna put this Argles on top and go off to the fucking races. You gonna duress me? Oh, yeah. So the card you wanna hit is on top. So we just wanna get all of our lands because this Bloodfast is gonna like. This Bloodfast is gonna do us some work. Don't have another one. Yeah. On your mark. Get set. Go. So now we just pass. Either negate something or draw a card. That's going to take my negate. I think it's just worth drawing a card. So you can have this. Take my negate. I'm going to draw another card. Just gonna hold up, draw two cards, and then slam the scare boy. That's all of my negates, so I don't have any of those sitting around. Well, this changes things. Hexproof. You can't lose the game when you gain life. Draw that many cards. When you lose life, exile a permanent. 
Okay. So now we probably just slam the uh, TSG here. Didn't think about this. It would be worth to get our ether board to get our siphoner down to start working that. Okay, Brass is contempt. Gained two life. Jeez. I thought I was got some serious gas going on. So at least now we can go Gear Hulk negate and then like hopefully attack our opponent. Because whenever you lose life for each life. Yeah, dude, you got it. So for each life, you lost exile, a permanent control. I guess I could have gone Gear Hulk negate. But I thought I, I was worried about like a them following up with some big spell. Them going like Gear Hulk negate into I don't know into like our promise. But I'm definitely just gonna flash this thing in here. They didn't want to put the shields down early. So is this gear hole gonna get in? Does look like we're gonna get some gear hulk action. So now my opponent's gonna sack a million permanents. So I have sacked five permanents. That's so bad. So Lich's match trees. Oh, you can get it from the graveyard. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So from the graveyard or discard. Alright, I don't think it's Gaunty time yet. But this is like a free card. Just cost me two mana for next turn. Okay. Um I guess I'll land this Gaunti, get on the battlefield more. Our promise might not be bad. I think I'm gonna cast the hour. So they ditch one, they have sack of permanent. So we kind of ground them out here. They're just like super dead, right? They're gonna they're gonna kill this Gaunti. They're gonna kill the Shrink the Gear Hulk. Okay. All right. I mean, they just have to sack three permanents next turn. We should have kept the card. They should have kept the land in their hand. I, I, maybe not. I don't know. They're just super. They're dead as a doorknob. I guess I could start Field of Ruining All Their Lands. All right, we'll hold up our two counter spells. <coughs> All right, 
We won one. All right, I'm going to restart Moto here. Let me toss this up here. Again, thank you everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. I, or hanging out today. I appreciate y'all being here. My name is Dylan Hovey. I'm a part of the Card Hunter Network. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. Um, if you guys want to support me more, go over to my YouTube page. It is linked below and just subscribe to it. You can turn the notifications off. It's just the, it's the best way to support me. There's a lot of Death Shadow content on there. I play all kinds of Shadow. There's standard content. There'll be four standard videos up today. So there's going to be all kinds of good stuff up there. There's probably those hundreds of hours of magic on there. Um, coming in a bit, there's going to be some like limited on there because I'm going to play down in the GP down here. So uh, if you guys have magic online business, check out Card Order. They're the best bot chain in the business. They have a great team and a great. They set up a, a great podcast. And if you want to interact with me, just follow me on Twitter, and I will chit chat magic with you. And uh, last thing, I learned to play magic at a store called Gamer Craze. Their Crystal Commerce is linked below. They're a great store. And you all should check them out. Oh, we're still loading here. I should have waited. Great timing. Hey, great numbers. Great numbers so far today. Had a subscription today, which was awesome. Plus, all subscription money, YouTube money, bit money, and donations goes straight to getting Philly fed. We just bought him some new food. So we bought him some expensive new food. We're going to play one more deck after this. Um, we're going to play some Green Black Snake when this league's over. We'll grab some more coffee. We'll be right back. Phil, Phil. Phil dog, Phil, Phil, Phil dog, I'm just going to mute myself while I eat here.
All right. This is kind of interesting. We're going to attack. But I wonder if I want to play Dusky Boy to draw a card. And then block, jump block this thing and push this is what the plan is. And then I can hit this as well. advantage with this deck. We can deal with this Legion landing if it flips two. Chef the Dunes, okay. What do we have here? Lara Dawnbringer. Alright, we can deal with that. We're gonna gain some life. I don't want to get this counter spelled. I, I, I doubt that they play counter spells, but <clears throat> counter spell would be would be pretty bad for the home team here. Or like a blossoming defense. <clears throat> but no, we'll just chill out here, draw two cards a turn for the rest of the game. We have another one. Okay, that's annoying. Nothing to bring in, which is good. Okay. So I think we're just going to hold back and play defense. One, two, three, four, five, six. I miscounted my man. I should have played a tap land. That was a punt. So if my opponent, like, gets really frisky with his chef at dunes, I think I'm just going to block, block. This is going to bring us enough card advantage, this Scarab God is. I think I'm just going to like, okay, so I'll just do this to flip this. We're just going to block, block out here. There's no need for us to get punked. <laughs> they can play Pride of Conquerors and have one of these live. Okay. Get this in here. <clears throat> I don't think I want this. I think we want just like removal. I should have not tapped my field of ruin. All right, we're again. We're just gonna pass. We got hexproof. Creatures have hexproof. We have hexproof. We're just going to activate Scarab God until we win the game. We've only got one card. All right, so now let's get our champion wins. So first in, we want this to go in for, we want Scarab God to go in first. See what search gets us. Um, that gets us back Veraska's Contempt. I actually don't think that's that great. But I will put it in the graveyard. And I will flip it because it's just more mana. We don't need that. Probably should have activated for Champion. But I think I want to just Field and Ruin this. Right now. There's just no need. I don't need to get them any more advantage. <clears throat> just trying to be careful, I guess. The Chef at Dunes is kind of scary, but... I 
And again, if they do anything like super risky, then we've got it covered with, I can actually just play Champion of Wits just as a blocker, which I think I'm gonna do. Get Champion of Wits down. And then we can like Gear Hulk, Contempt something. my shoes. Can you eat my shoes? Yes, you are. <coughs> Damn, it's cold in here, Philly. And now, like, we're, we're in pretty good shape. I don't think there's a whole, like, we pretty much got this game cinched up. I'll start attacking soon. <laughs> All right, let's get back this torrential gear hulk. Flashback Vraska's Contempt on one of these knights. Okay, so we want the gold, we want all of our removal and golden demises. So. Cards that I'm not super excited about. I don't know, I kinda like all my cards. Commit memory might be, might be too cute. What does commit memory do? It's just a counter spell. Probably can shave a champion. Maybe it doesn't seem like a super Gonti matchup. Well, I guess they're trying to beat me down, so maybe we don't want search. Gonti can at least block. Yeah, let's try this. A walking ballista sounds kind of bad if they've got the hexproof creature. But then I guess my whole deck sounds bad, so that's not a reason to take that out. Yep, yeah, we're gonna keep it. We have to draw a card on turn three. Not a whole lot going on besides that. Alright, these is landing. Well, we should be able to find plenty of action. Blue. Okay, blue. Oh, yeah, we saw that. All right, so they're going to be able to flip this next turn, which is, like, that's pretty good. I like how this deck plays. We're just going to let this come in. They actually can go land to shard, which is pretty cool. Stop to rest, okay. I think it's better to champion this turn. Then next turn, we'll go Field of Ruin, and then we can hold up like Force Spike for Syncopate. It looks like my opponent's stuck on mana, so it might work out pretty well for us. I think I'm just gonna block. This game's 
going to go long. And I'd like to buffer my life total as much as I can. All right, the history of Benalia is rough. So now I have a counter spell up. Next turn, I'll play Gaunti. Hopefully we find like a removal spell or something. Maybe I was supposed to play Gaunti on that turn, but I didn't want them to keep making servos. Probably was going to hit for six here. Then I have to block one. I really hope that we get to use this one of these counter spells on this turn. Maybe I had, I don't know. Okay. Lara Donbringer. All right, we're going to take a strands expertise. So we block this, take eight. That's what's going on. And then we cast strands expertise next turn and um, cast strands expertise next turn to set up uh, block block. And then we're going to like figure it out again. Nothing. Oh man, they have some. Yeah, that's not good. All right, so now I need something to bring in here. That, I feel kind of like a luck sack. That was a luck sack draw. Opponent's about to fall out of their chair. And we have a counter spell up. That was a good draw. That was a good one. Okay, so my expectation. Yeah. Alright, we're still kind of in trouble. I think I'm just going to cast this. Look to just chump out, hold up a counter spell. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that was a good one. So I just got to chump, chump, chump. Take two. I deserve that. I deserve that for sure. Get back, siphoner, siphoner, block, block. Nope, you got us. Uh, yep, yeah, I deserve that. I had a, they had a really, I had a really good top deck, and then they top decked me back, which. You know, what's fair is fair. I think I gotta bring this in. Take out one of these, they're kind of slow. On the play, we'll have a better chance here. Maybe I want the Aetherborns, because they just gain life. They stop me from getting beaten down. Yeah, I'll try this. Maybe I don't want to see all these fatal pushes. God, I have so much, so many like things that I wanted to do there. All right. Um, I think it's not great, but I think I'm gonna keep it. Gaunti can find me. So I'm gonna lead on the fetid pools on one.
right? No early play for the opponents, great. Now I'm wishing I'd cycle that land. Probably not a point that's fatal push it like anything. Okay, this is good. Now I'm wishing I kept the fetid pools. But what are you gonna do? It's tough, it's tough to like, I've, I've, I haven't played too many games with this deck, but it seems pretty mana hungry. Okay, Legion's Landing. Hopefully we can find some gas here. Alara Dawnbringer would be sweet. Just this big old 5-5 five, five beater. I don't have a lot of creatures. I guess I just take this sapling migration. <laughs> then we're blocking this. I block. Sram, okay. Doctor Arrest, okay. I don't block. Yes. I'm trying to cast that now so that they don't flip their legions landing. Then next turn we'll play this kit. Okay. We're still just going to play this kit. I don't think that we need to deal with this quite yet. Well, now we might do something different. I'm gonna do this now. I've seen that they, we know they have counter spells, so I'm gonna do this now. The next turn we'll kick this. Okay, they're cycling, which means they're probably running on empty. That's kind of counts as running on empty. <laughs> Jeez. My moment of craving my own champion of wits. Because, like, we are just not... We don't have a lot of action here. I'm going to trade... If my opponent attacks anything, I'm going to trade for this. I'm going to block with champion of wits. <laughs> I guess we can start beating down. That's a pretty good draw. Two, four... Smoke this. Get in for three. Okay. So we can double moment of craving that. Or I can put a counter on the ballista. And then so I can put a counter on the ballista, shoot, shoot, and go. Which I kind of like doing. So let's let me make sure this resolves first. I didn't want him to like negate that. <clears throat> he 
could like Pride of Conquerors me. But Pride of Conquerors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that sucks. Well, we're still gonna attack. That sucks. Now I leave myself open. That was dumb. I mean, we get them to burn a Pride of Conquerors. We traded Pride of Conquerors for a Moment of Craving, basically. But I think I could have played that turn better if I had thought about it more. Like, hey, what's up, buddy? Come here. You good? You good? Hi, Goobers. Do you want to come up here? Do you want to come up here Put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. Okay. If this is their game plan. We're, we're good with it. I can just do the same thing next turn. And I get blown out again by a Pride of Conquerors, but not even really. Put a counter on, we're gonna attack, and then I will just moment of craving this. I guess my opponent's kinda like Dobbs next turn. If they attack, so we might as well just wait. This makes so we can kill like a Lara Dawnbringer, something that's a real problem. This becomes a 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, we're not sequencing very well. I just kind of want... It's all over. I'm just trying to get it over with. Okay. I could obviously be sequencing this better, but we're just trying to, like... This is all over but the crying. Okay. So, we're back to 2-2, two and two, it looks like, in the league. Yeah. We can finish up. With a winning record, and then we can get into our last deck and play some green black snake. I would like to play first. Keep this hand. This hand's good. Hey, Phil, you're on the other side of this. Get to start working the siphoner. Oh, this should be a fun matchup here. No, that's bad. Come on right up here, buddy. What's going on, bud? Ow, ow, ow. You have a lot of energy. We're going to the dog park after I'm done streaming, bud. Okay, so we're playing... The Sapperlings deck. We're playing a deck that cannot beat Chain Whirler. Jeez. We're going to ditch this gear ball. We can ditch one of these searches.
I don't think this is going to be a real deck once the format shakes out here. Because you're just like so dead to, to the old Whirler. It's like a Fungus Lord. That's not good. I probably should kill one of these things with this on the stack. Guess I'll just kill that one. Probably should worry about like a Fungus Lord, but I don't, I don't think there's, there's got to be a Fungus Lord for this deck. Is even worse than I thought it was. We're in trouble regardless. They just got on the board quickly. I couldn't. I couldn't beat up. Um, they got on the board, and I couldn't deal with uh, Llanowar Elf on turn one. Yeah, that'll ditch that. All right. If we don't hit a land, then I'm gonna scoop it up here. Okay, there's the sapling lord. Hey, what's up, buddy? What if it's right for me to hit this? Hit the sapling lord. But all of these are going to get plus one, plus one from this. So two, four... Six, eight, ten. Yeah, like we're probably just we're probably just dead, but guys, the block this take two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, oh, they get the counters stay on them too. Oh, they have vigilance. All right, let's draw a card. Lodo can't handle all this. There's our lands. All right. Okay, so let's sideboard here. A card like Negate's probably good. Duress is good. The Golden Demise. Cards I don't think are very good. Moment of Craving isn't great. Fatal Push is like good on turn one. That's probably it. I'm going to assume that the... Commit Memory bounces the token, which is probably fine. Uh, Gaunti's probably not good. I don't think it's a Bloodfast matchup. Though Bloodfast does let me like hold up mana. I want to have like enough removal. Bloodfast lets me just sit there and draw cards. All right, we're gonna try it. But no, they're just an aggro deck. Try one. The essence scatter only hits. This is kind of, there's no like super impactful creatures. There's like creatures that make other creatures, but now nah, I'm gonna get the Bloodfast in. I can just hide behind the Bloodfast and draw a bunch of cards. I think. Not exactly sure. All right, very good. We'll be able to draw a card in turn three. We have Golden Demise if we need to. We have Good Negate. It's a pretty good hand. Put a mulligans. The gate can hit like a Vraska in the late game. Okay, that's fine.
Creatures cards graveyard can't be the target of spells or abilities, but you can still embalm them, right? All right, I think we're just gonna go get in here. I think we're just gonna hold negate. Do I hold negate or draw another card? I think I'm gonna hold up negate. I think that we can afford to like negate something like one of those things that makes a bunch of mana. Tail. Okay. So I kind of have to like golden demise or play how many token permanents? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This next turn would be eight. So this is seven, land eight, nine. I can play one. Now I've got a problem. Yeah, now I've now I've muffed up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can go Champion of Wits, probably find Removal Spell Land. I really want to get to 10 permanents. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think we're going to get greedy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This means I have to ditch the Scare of God if I want to do this. Which is probably okay. Because the Scare of God doesn't really do that much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Yeah. So now we're in good shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we're going to draw two more cards next turn. <laughs> Plague Windham. Plague Windham. Okay. Opponents fighting the good fight. Draw two more cards next turn. Yeah. I think I want one. I think I was going to play this deck again. It's on the draw. I think I want a little bit more early interaction. I want all my fatal pushes. Scare of God's not super great because they're bringing in ways to deal with it. Probably gonna bring in like one more removal spell to deal with all the, the bunch of their dumb dudes. Uh, second pace not great on the draw either. 
So I'll do this to be able to kill like the legends and stuff. Not the legends, the lords. Go like this. So this is the last match of this league, and then we're gonna play Green Black Snake. Been going for five hours and eighteen minutes today. Long stream. Oh, Drew, thank you very much for your subscription. I missed you. Way to go. Hope to God there. We have two subs today. That's awesome. Um, we don't have any early interaction. We have champions. I can totally see this being a mulligan. I can totally see this being a mull. Probably gonna play the search next turn over the blood fast because the search does something on its own without any mana. Now we're digging a golden demise. Yes, we don't need any throb. Straw cards, champion wits. Ooh, that's not good. Well, we have another champion next turn. I'm just gonna trade off here. I wanna keep this board as small as possible. The Fungal Lord. Looking for a removal spell. Draw that. I'm going to play this Blood Fast because it can ramp us. And give us more life if we need to. Ballista, okay. Nope, we're going to cast that pretty boy. Get out of here. Shoot me for one, probably. And then I'm just going to play this swamp so that we can draw a card off Blood Fast. I like this deck. And then we can, like, use when the Blood Fast, when the blood fast flips, we can use it to sack our champion wits. Torrential Gear Hulk in your graveyard. I'm going to go no. It's going to be good at some point. <clears throat> We're going to go like this and this. Play this siphoner, look to trade it off. It's gonna suck if my opponent like puts another counter on this ballista. But I feel good with this commit memory.
Yeah, we'll put Venables in the graveyard. I'll flip this search. More mana is just good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think All right, so just going to shoot this. Sure. Now that they did that, I'm going to flat I'm going to flashback my champion of wits. Well, no, cuz they can corrupt they can grab stone it. That was a mistake. I kind of made them do it, but negate that. <laughs> Land where else good. Now I can flash back my champion of wits and not get it scavenger grounded. But then even have the blood fast up. My opponent doesn't attack. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to hold this land so they don't know that I can feel to ruin this. So if they get antsy and tap out, then I can just deal with it. We can actually play Vraska here, which is kind of scary. Tender Shoot Dryad. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That thing's so big. Fatal push, fatal push. Champion's not going to do it. I can ditch both of these. I can at least try to keep him off. Keep him off uh, the city's blessing. Then I'll play another Siphoner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. So he's going to have, oh my God. Oh, this is bad. I should have killed the Sapperlings. That was, Sapperlings you control get plus two, plus two, as long as you have the City's Blessing. I thought it was plus two, plus two, as long as this guy was in play. That's not good. Now I'm dead. Yeah, I muffed this up so bad. I messed up the tender shoot dryad. Block, 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 take four. Looks like what we're doing here. Oh, it's frustrating to lose this game. Pretty sure they only get it if you get the plus two. Okay, so I gotta kill the dude. 
That's what you're saying. Oh, I should have fatal pushed one of these. That's all right. Golden Demise was... Oh, Golden Demise did it. Golden Demise did it. Oh. Oh. I just, like, zoned out. I was, like, reading. And then I was, like... I was just reading and zoned out of it. Oh, that's frustrating. All right. Maybe one more league is not good. Maybe we've gone for enough time today. So I've got no more Golden Demises left in my deck. So wait, does this set at the beginning? But Saplings you control at plus two, plus two, as long as you have the Sitting Blessing. City's Blessing. So does this, is this work here? Yeah, no, I just like, I was just like reading chat and thinking other ways. And like messing up there, which which happens. Put fetid pools, yes. No. Are we sure that this that this works like this? Let's look at this. I'm just dead, but let me just, for a reason, like, saplings you control get plus two, plus two, as long as you have the city lesson. So does, yeah, this obviously has to be out here. Yeah. That's frustrating. I think we're going to call that a stream, though. Like, I've been going for about five and a half hours and playing a new format for five and a half hours. You know, obviously, like, I just, you know, tossed that. But out of the three decks I played... I'm not like a super big standard player. So like I make a lot of mistakes in this format while I'm still learning. So out of the three decks that I played, I thought that 